Guys, I'm going to do a, uh, this is Shannon Kelly, and I'm going to do a d uh, detailed tutorial on how to run any push pin call uh, way better and make you a very effective caller. Everybody wants to be a good caller. This is, in particular, this is my call. I'll be using my call to demonstrate. This is Macassar Ebony. I, I love these calls. These are really good. Um, they look good. It's a very thick, I'll explain some things before I show you, but it's a very heavy, dense wood. It's probably about 62 uh, uh, pounds per square for cubic foot. It's a very dense wood and it holds a soundboard. And that's going to be the major difference between what I make and what is uh, mass produced. Okay, this is Macassar Ebony on the bottom, East Indian Rosewood in the center. And uh, let's see if I can get it in there. If you can see the pyramid in there, that is the peg that I use. I drill the holes in there and that is for the tuning process in there. Uh, there's several features in here that, uh, not even the train eye, this is uh, aircraft grade, grade titanium in here. And this is a, actually a piece of special uh, piano wire that is bent and adjusted. When you put the call in there, you see how the, the lid is in there just like that? The, I mean the uh, spring, that's the amount of tension that you want on it. It's a lighter spring on it, okay? And I'm going to go into it now. What, what I'm going to cover basically is the cluck, okay? which is the bread and butter of this call. It does a lot of things very good, but what it does very good is it does a front and a back end on the cluck. So, and if you remember the comedian Chris Farley, he did one act, but he did it in different volumes. This is basically the cluck. This is the softest you're gonna do. And if you notice where I put my finger, I put my finger right here. You could do a cluck right here too on the tip. And I'm resting my hand on the bottom of the damp dampen. And this is, I'm going to put pressure on it to make a cut. So if I was to do a cut. Now this is a lighter spring, so I'm going to point it down so that gravity assists the paddle to go back down. So Now the, and here's a cluck right here. This is standard cluck. Here's it, making a soft cluck. That's the purr. I'll show you how to do that in another video, but anyway. Anyway, the soundboard is, uh, is, is, is a very responsive soundboard and it has to have this thick musical grade wood. And each type of wood um, is going to have a resonating factor and it's going to be able to hold the soundboard down. If it's not th this, if it, with this soundboard, with a light wood, it's going to be very, very raspy. With this, it's going to make it sound, uh, give it, just mellow it down a little bit. Now, the pin. It does look nice, but the reason for the pin is to hold on to the pin when you're yelping. It, it, that's for the, the purpose. You see a lot of push pin calls, they have a short pin like this, real short like that. Mine are different because you hang on to the pin to do a yelp. But we'll get into that on the next video. But anyway, let's do the cluck again. Again, put the finger right here like this. You can do it on the bottom. And you try to keep the quarter weight rested on this because it's going to just... If you look at the look at the pin, see how it shakes? And you notice that these holes are kind of a little bit oversized and that's where you can get kind of like a lateral movement on this. Watch the ends of the push pin, see how it moves when I'm, when I'm calling. Gobblers, gobblers, you know, can hear a very long ways and that they can hear that from a long ways. But anyway, so let me put the call back in here. Um, they are, this is labor intensive. They do look nice. Um, they'll last you a very long time. Lifetime, if you treat them correctly, don't leave them in a hot car is the worst thing you could do. Yes, there you go, right there. And that's the call. Here's some more right here. Here's another one. Here's the third one. All Macassar. All right, thank you now.